Hey guys, in this video, we'll cover duplicating objects and in instances. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete Intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. All right, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. To begin this lesson, let's start another new file. So go up to your file menu and pick the option for new, general, no need to save the file you've been working on. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about duplicating objects, and then we're gonna compare that to what's known as duplicating instances of an object. So first, let's say that we want more than one cube. The way to duplicate it, hold down Shift and press D on your keyboard, then you can let go of those keys and move your mouse and it puts you in the move tool. And let's just say that we wanna move this just to the side in the green direction or the Y axis direction, press the letter Y, and then go ahead and click to finish setting this duplicate down. So when you duplicate this object, you make an entirely new object. And so what I mean by that is coming back up to the outliner, we see that we have the original cube and then we have cube.001. Cube.001 is that copy. Try this, hold down Shift D. Let's duplicate another copy just to the side. Press Y so that it's moving in the Y direction and then click to set it down. And you see here now we have Cube, Cube 001 and Cube 002. Now, just to make sure that we're clear, let's go ahead and double click on Cube and let's call this Cube Original and press the enter key on the keyboard to rename that. Then let's go ahead and on the one that's 001, double click. Let's call this cube duplicate 001, enter. And then for the 002, let's rename it cube duplicate 002. So double click on it, cube duplicate 002, enter. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here, and for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube, and this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And now, back to the lesson. Okay. Now, let's go back to the original cube and click once on it. Let's say now that you decided that you wanted to make the cube a little bit bigger. In object mode, so we're in object mode here, press S for the scale tool and scale it up a bit and then click to let go. And you'll notice you scaled this. It's larger the other two, nothing happened. Okay, that's fine. Let's undo that. Control Z. Let's try in edit mode. So press tab to switch to edit mode. The whole object should be pre-selected. Press S for scale and move your mouse and then click to let go. And once again, it was scaled up, but the other two were not. Let's undo back. Control Z and let's tab back to object mode. So when we were scaling the entire object, nothing changed to the other two because we were scaling this object, cube original. So of course, we weren't scaling cube duplicate 001 or cube duplicate 002. They are different objects. We can clearly see that here in the outliner. And in edit mode, Go ahead and click on this little arrow to the left of cube original. Go ahead and click to twirl that down. And this here, this little symbol here, the green one is for the object data. And so the object is named cube. The object data here is named cube. Now let's go to cube duplicate 01 and click to twirl that down. And the object data here is cube.001. So when we were in edit mode, we were editing the cube object data that's here. And because this object data is not the same as this object data, this is named something else. 
Of course, editing this object data or editing this in edit mode was not going to change anything about this because they were two different object data models. Now, I don't expect this to make total sense just yet. I want to point this out because so far we've been talking about duplicating objects and we're about to talk about a subtle difference, which is to duplicate an object instance. So let's do that. Let's make sure that we've selected the original cube here. And then instead of shift D this time, I want you to hold down the alt key on your keyboard and press the letter D. And then let's move this one to the left. Press the Y key on your keyboard to lock it in the Y direction and click to set it down. Now you notice here we have cube original and we just created cube original dot zero zero one. So we have a totally separate object here, but click to twirl this down and notice that the object data, the name matches the cube original name. So it's using the same object data. Now you might not be able to intuitively understand what's going to happen next, but I encourage you to make a guess. We're going to edit cube original in object mode first, and then we're going to edit it in edit mode next. We're going to scale it in both ways. And I want you to ask yourself, do you think that anything will change about the cube on the left in object mode? And then also ask yourself, do you think anything will change in edit mode? So first let's try it in object mode. Click on the original cube, press S for scale and move your mouse and then click to let go. And nothing changed about the cube on the left. And hopefully you made the guess that because cube original was its own object and cube original 001 was its own object that editing one object would not edit the other object. Okay, now let's undo that. Control Z. With that selected, let's go to edit mode. Press tab on your keyboard. Now in edit mode, we will be editing the object data model. And right now, these are the same object data model. So even though I'm editing this one, it's all selected. Go ahead and press S for the scale tool and begin scaling it up and down and then click to set it down and you see that you were editing the other instance. And that's because you were technically editing the same data model. So even though you have two different objects, they're using the same data model, which is just known as cube right now. Okay, so we've talked about objects, object data models. This can get a little bit confusing to conceptualize at first in Blender, but just helpful for me to have noted it once. We're not gonna dwell on this right now, We'll talk about it here and there all throughout the lessons and it'll become more and more familiar. Right now, here's what you need to know. When you use shift D, you are duplicating the object and that's what we did to the right. When you use alt D, you are duplicating an instance of the object. And the difference between just a regular duplicate and duplicating an instance is that an instance will have the same data model, or in other words, when you're in edit mode for one, you're gonna adjust all of them at the same time. But it is interesting because again, press tab, you're back in object mode. In object mode, these are two different objects. So you can scale this one, press S for scale, scale it down, and it won't change this. Then press tab to go to edit mode, and now S for scale and notice they're scaling, but not at the same size because it's relative to the object scale. So click to set it down. Basically this object wrapper is scaled down, but then when you get into edit mode, now you're editing the instances relative to one another. Again, this is very abstract. I don't expect all of it to hit home perfectly just yet. The main focus of this lesson is that you can duplicate an object or you can duplicate an instance. Just duplicating an object will create separate objects that have to be edited separately. Duplicating instances will create separate objects that can be edited by editing just one in edit mode.
Now, one last thing to note, which is a little bit outside of duplicates versus instances, but just something that I want to make sure we understand. Let's go ahead and press tab to switch back to object mode. And let's go ahead and click and select the last one in the lineup here. Then hold shift and press D for duplicate. And let's say you're starting to duplicate this and then you think to yourself, you know what? I actually didn't mean to duplicate. I only wanted to move this. So you'll remember you can hit the escape key on your keyboard. That'll let go of the operation in progress. And then you might say, okay, let me press G for grab and let me move this. And then you'll say, wait, it's duplicating it. What's going on here? So what actually happened, go ahead and hit the escape key. When you're just moving an object, so you don't need to do this. I'm going to go back one. I'm going to click on this and press G for grab. When you're only moving an object, if you hit escape, you just let go of that operation in progress and it drops it back where it was. But when we duplicated this object and then hit escape, we didn't undo the duplication. That was already done. We let go of that duplicate right back where it came from, meaning we now have two objects here, one overlapping the other. So just important to know, if you start to duplicate and then hit escape, you're still gonna have that duplicate left behind just in the exact same spot. So you'll either need to move it or delete it or whatever you want. In this example, I've clicked once on it to select it. You can do the same. And then you can press X on your keyboard for delete and then press enter to accept that and be left with the original one. So once again, just helpful to understand when you hit the escape key in the middle of duplicating, it will drop that copy back where it was. So you'll have two of the same thing overlapping one another and you'll have to deal with that later. Otherwise you might have some unintended consequences. Okay, now that you know a little bit about duplicates versus instances, you're ready to move on to the next lesson. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.